Hi, everybody. This is Bill Downs. I'm the uh, founder and CEO of Victory Nutrition International. I'm a nutritional biochemist, and tonight we're going to do a webinar on Protovite and the protosome technology. Today is Tuesday, April the 5th of 2016, and I'm really uh, appreciating that uh, everyone's coming on the call to learn about this exciting information. So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to examine a proprietary evidence-based uh, product technology and our uh, slogan is nutrition that gets in, which by the way is registered now, and we're going to show how it changes the quality of life. So you can see, I just brought up on the computer, Protovite Nutrition that gets in. Um, it is a uh, registered trademark now, and we have submitted a patent, and I'll, I'll show you the clinical study, uh, just an excerpt from the clinical study that supports nutrition that gets in. You would think that this is an obvious statement that anytime you put something in your mouth, it's going to get into the body, but the number one health malady in our culture is digestive problems. So it is a significant barrier to taking the building materials of life, air, water, sunshine, and food, and giving our bodies the greatest ability to use them because food supplies all the resources to enable our body to use air, water, and sunshine and to manufacture molecules and to fund all the biochemical transactions that create us. So we're going to look at Protovite, which is a distinctively unique and superior liquid multivitamin mineral and plant nutrient complex. So the study that we did was published in the Journal of Functional Foods and Health and Disease, and it looked at the effect of, and instead of saying Protovite, the scientific code is VMP35, and VMP35 stands for Vitamin Mineral Phytonutrient, with 35 macro ingredients providing hundreds of micro ingredients and SK713 SLP is a, is a scientific code literally for the protosomes so I'm going to call all of this protovite so it's the effect of protovite nutrient delivery technology observed as a result of changes in properties of live human blood and these were the results compared to baseline at starting point and the control we used a water control, and then we took live blood cell analysis. The protovite technology affected positive changes in the blood. Five minutes from the intake and were sustained for at least 30 minutes post-intake. This, this kind of research has never been published before. As an example, this is one subject's blood that's very messy, uh, very unhealthy, can't use oxygen, can't use water, can't deliver nutrients, can't flow through the... 60,000 miles of blood vessels in the body, uh, which when blood, the one and a half gallons of blood in the body should circulate through the 60,000 miles of blood vessels, one complete revolution about every 20 to 60 seconds. And that should deliver oxygen, water, and nutrients to over 372 trillion cells. And by looking at this slide, you can see that it's a mess. Uh, this is not even getting through capillaries. So this individual might have spider veins, varicose veins. Uh, they they be subject of you know edema, swelling, water retention. Uh, they might even be a candidate for an embolism, or an aneurysm, or a stroke, or something like that. Cardiovascular problems, inflammatory problems. So what we want to do is give the body the resources to restore the kind of blood flow that we're seeing in the right picture. And this is five minutes after taking Protovite. So we did a test to see just what kind of energy potential the Protovite had. And this test is with a 15-watt light bulb, and it's the conductivity tester is rated for uh, 7 watts. So this class is tap water. This class is electrolyte water. It was actually smart water. And this class is Protovite. So here we have now the conductivity tester with a light bulb. Nothing's happening. By the way, water is a terrible conductor of electricity unless it has a lot of electrolytes, which ground it out. So now we're putting it into the electrolyte water. And oops, nothing going on there either. Guess there weren't enough electrolytes. So again, this is rated for 7 watts. This is a 15-watt light bulb. And 
voila, the protovite lights the light bulb. So now let's go about 18 times heavier with a 300 watt light bulb. First demonstration with a 300 watt light bulb in protovite. Wow, look at that. Protovite turns the lights on and keeps them on. Amazing. So how do we achieve this? Um, we, have a, we have submitted a patent. I'm actually writing the full patent. We have already have a provisional patent application in. We've got one-year protection from that. I'm doing the full patent. Uh, I was even working on it today. And it, it represents an absolute genuine breakthrough in absorption capabilities. No other product has been able to, to achieve this. And you've seen the published clinical study results from just one subject. I'll be showing you some more. But the way that we achieve this is we start with the very best proprietary ingredients. I was in the ingredient business for 24 years. I'm a bit fanatical about using premium quality ingredients, and we do use the best proprietary ingredients. Uh, they're premium quality, patented, trademark, and evidence-based ingredients for the most part. Translation, that means it's expensive, really good stuff, and it's been shown to work in a standalone uh, environment, and we're combining them all. We even put the ingredient suppliers' names, uh, product names, on the label. So the second thing we do is we mechanically pre-digest all of these ingredients through a high shear tri-blender jet compression particle processing. It's actually a type of sophisticated wet milling. It's a high-tech wet milling procedure. What this does is it creates uniform, microscopically small particle sizes, and, and that is, enables a lot of them to get into the um, protosome packaging. And that makes these ingredients readily usable by the body. Uh, translation, biological compatibility, otherwise known as body-friendly. <clears throat> So we start with, in making the protosomes with uh, high-grade, premium-quality phospholipids. Now keep in mind, most lecithin normally contains about 19 to 21% phosphatidylcholine. However, the lecithin that we use, we get from Germany, is about 88% phosphatidylcholine to make these protosomes. Now if anybody's ever spilled lecithin granules on a countertop and tried to wipe them off with their bare hand, it's kind of like wiping off Formica adhesive. They have a, an adhesive property. Well, if you can, that's with 19 to 21% phosphatidylcholine. If you could imagine how that dramatically increases with greater than 85% phosphatidylcholine, it, it has a powerful adhesive property. So then the methyl group rich phospholipids that we use are treated with uh, what we call a energy frequency imprinting, and this is part of our patent pending process as well. It's also known as effequence technology, and we'll talk about that in a minute. And uh, liposome encapsulation packages all of the predigested protovite ingredients inside clusters of effequence treated phospholipids. So we start by making a liposome. So the question is, what is a liposome? Well, this would be a liposome. So we actually mimic a cell membrane, also known as a phospholipid bilayer. So here uh, is the uh, water-loving edge, and it goes in, and here's these little legs here are a fat-loving edge. And I'm getting some feedback on the call here, by the way. Somebody's off there. He's either on the speaker or needs to mute star six their, uh, their telephone. Anyway... So we have the head, the legs, the head and the legs coming together, creating what's called a phospholipid bilayer. And, and this is essentially a liposome. And this blue stuff in the middle here would be the protovite. The difference here is that this is a liquid, and where it looks like a glob of Play-Doh, it would be actually permeating into the spaces between these molecules, creating a more homogeneous mixture. And the protosome would be where this um, liposome molecule might be one molecule there or one molecule there or one molecule there. In fact, the protosome architecture is much more complex than what's depicted in this picture, having up to hundreds of concentric layers. So the, the protovite 
exhibited a very, very unusual, what's called an exothermic reaction. They'd never seen anything like it at the production facility, and there's some of the people on the phone that have been to our production facility and have met the um, the man who runs the whole show down there and the production scientist, the chemist. And the guy who did the first batch, they have to do stability testing. And when he when he did the stability testing, we do a room temperature evaluation at first to see what kind of a reaction it goes through at room temperature. And in a 50-gallon batch, um, it had a very unusual um, reaction. And the, the, the guy called me, and he said, Bill, I've been doing this for 25 years. I've never seen anything like what I just saw. You know, in a normal production batch of 50 gallons, the temperature of all consumable liquid products will gradually adjust to room temperature. So if they were refrigerated and then brought into production at, at let's say, uh, 68 degree room temperature, they'll heat up to room temperature. If they were being processed and were heated, and we don't use heat in our process, they'll cool down to room temperature. When they let the protovite sit at room temperature, the temperature of the predigested protosome and effequence processed protovite rises to 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit and stops. That's body temperature. That was, he, he told me, he said he'd never seen anything like that. So the protovite behaves like body fluid. We have a remarkably distinctly unique and superior product. And of course, I'm showing you right now a picture of what protovite looks like on a microscope slide. And when I turn this on, you can actually see that there's molecules of things moving around in the protovite. And the microscopist that performed this experiment called me and said, I've been doing this for a lot of years. I've never seen any liquid product behave like this. So let's just switch gears a minute now and see why the protovite is so important. So the building blocks of, of mammalian life are this. You're made of air, water, sunshine, and food. I mentioned that already. And the quality of life and the ability to improve our health and stress tolerance is directly dependent on and proportional to the quality of those ingredients, their ability to be absorbed, and most importantly, used by cells, and the cell's ability to use oxygen and water. So the big question would be, well, I'm breathing all the time. Aren't I using it all? And the answer is no. So what happens to oxygen you can't use? Well, what's the function of oxygen? Primarily, it burns. So when you can't use it, it causes increased oxygen-free radicals and oxidative damage to your genes, to your cell membranes. It, it creates problems that underlie all chronic degenerative diseases. So what are some of the signs of a reduced ability to use oxygen and water? First, we have muscle cramps, twitching, tremors, charley horses, restless legs, muscle wasting, bone spurs, calcium deposits, kidney stones, osteoporosis, osteopenia, periodontal disease or gum infections, overall infection, inflammation, depression, abnormal fat or blood sugar metabolism, uh, nerve numbness, nerve burning, nerve pain, you know, peripheral neuropathy, cardiovascular disease, cancer, diabetes, etc., etc., etc. All of these, a reduced ability to use oxygen and water, are also a sign of increased acid burden, or in extreme cases, acidosis. Protovite provides the resources to use oxygen and water to make energy, manage energy, and dispose of waste, the three pro most important steps of metabolism. So we're not curing any disease. We don't diagnose, treat, cure, prevent diseases. We simply give the body the resources that get in that it can use to rejuvenate, revitalize cellular metabolism to support and optimize life. So this is actually a video of an individual whose cells are pretty stressed. You can see some of the cells on the screen, if you can see them, um, are kind of hollow looking. They look a little bit like Cheerios. And some of them look even like Frisbees. They're really empty. In these conditions, the hemoglobin has been spent to try and keep the cell, the, the blood plasma, alkaline because hemoglobin is an alkaline buffer. The other challenge is that 
the um, the the other the reason the hemoglobin is being spent is because minerals or electrolytes have been used up. The minerals and the electrolytes are the checking account of alkaline buffers, and the the hemoglobin is the savings account of alkaline buffers. So you can see that the cells are losing their hemoglobin, and as they lose their hemoglobin, they lose their electrical potential, their charge, uh, the charge they're supposed to have, and they start s sticking together, and they create uh, cell aggregation or rouleau. So here's the video of this. Now you can I've turned the video on. And the the cells are not moving around in the in the plasma. They're stuck in the sludge. So again, if you can't use oxygen, you can't use water. Then this individual took one ounce of protovite, held it in their mouth for 30 seconds, swallowed it, and five minutes later, a blood sample was taken. The tip of the finger was lanced and was put on a slide. And this is that individual's blood. The same individual, five minutes after taking protovite. Now you can see uh, the Cheerios are mostly gone. There's a nice white blood cell right there. This is a cell making a platelet. But most of these cells look like plums. They've refilled with hemoglobin in five minutes. And they've reduced cellular stress. This is dramatic. And there's a beautiful neutrophil or white blood cell that is um, important. It's the most abundant a type of white blood cell in the in the blood, and it's extremely important in uh, immune system competence. So you can't have healthy white blood cells if you don't have healthy red blood cells first. So you need to make your red blood cells healthy. As it says in Leviticus 17:11, um, the life of the flesh is in the blood. We're trying to make the blood really healthy. So this is an 82-year-old man with bladder cancer. So all the cells on this slide are dead, with the exception of maybe that one right there and that one right there. Um, this is like a stagnant pond with dead, rotting fish in it. This poor guy is being poisoned to death right by the rot of his dead red blood cells. So they gave this gentleman one month to live, stage 4 cancer and uh, bladder cancer. And he's also from Sicily, so he's got some sickle cell anemia going on, as you can see right here in this cell, in this uh, picture. So I'll run the slide. You've got extreme cell aggregation. Uh, some of the cells are moving, but they're not healthy at all. The, the spots, it looks like a cobblestone street. In other spots, the red blood cells are so damaged that um, it's, you know, right here, you can see that, it looks like like carcasses. They're, they look like they've been shot with buckshot and destroyed. Well, these are just carcasses of red blood cells. And this big black molecule here is a type of molecule that the body, it, it's made of, uh, starts from protein and it creates a crystal to sequester or mop up acid because your blood pH can't go below 7.1 or above 7.7 .7 or you die. So this gentleman was in very bad shape. He took one ounce of protovite, swished it in his mouth for 30 seconds and swallowed. Five minutes later, this is his blood. Oh, by the way, you can see a white blood cell there, a white blood cell there, and you'll see a bunch more white blood cells. We're starting to get an infiltration within moments. There's a nice, pretty much bigger white blood cell. Here's one that's not big enough yet. There's one right up here in the top. So we're really having a significant increase in white blood cells in five minutes. So this is 30 minutes in the same guy, 30 minutes after taking the protovite. So now we're seeing a lot more plums. So the body is rapidly uh, disposing of all the dead red blood cells, and it's um, revitalizing the red blood cells that were still alive it didn't manufacture a whole new set of red blood cells in 30 minutes. So these are red blood cells that were re revitalized, and you'll see in this a uh, whole lot of tremendous increase in white blood cells and neutrophils in this uh, video as well. You can see a lot of them, three, four right there. There's another one. There's two more. Whoops. Excuse me.
excuse me. Let me go to the previous. Anyway, let me go right to here. Okay. So anyway, there was a tremendous increase in white blood cells. So the smallest uh, blood vessels in the uh, body are in the eye. The smallest capillaries are in the eye. This is Augustine Rodriguez, and this is his Canadian National Institute for the Blind Card. Augustine was a butcher and went blind. And he, he reports, I was introduced to Protovite. It has made an enormous difference in my life. I am back working, and my eyesight has improved so dramatically that my driver's license has been reinstated. I mean, these are just incredible results. We didn't do a study on this. These are just people that reported to us uh, the results they got. This is Donna Morrow. She's a 67-year-old female that had type 1 diabetes that was diagnosed when she was 12 years old. She developed a callus on the bottom of her foot that turned into a diabetic foot ulcer. It went through the foot and came out on the top. They had to suture the wound. Uh, this is anaerobic uh, you know, metabolism. She, she can't use oxygen or water. She's got some yeast here. She's got water retention. So she struggled with this for a couple of years, and the doctors decided to uh, administer antibiotics through a PICC line, which they did for about three and a half months. That it, there was some nominal uh, improvement. Uh, when they stopped, it, it went really, it got bad again. And then they suggested, since it's anaerobic, to have her do 60 hyperbaric oxygen treatments. Now, you would think giving oxygen would provide a significant benefit, but if you can't use oxygen, then giving excess oxygen doesn't really enhance the problem. It actually increases oxidative burden. So they were going to amputate Donna's foot right where my cursor is, right about there. They were going to cut her foot off. And her other doctor, who had heard me do a presentation on brain health, um, uh, and Dr. Blum, who's in our, our scientific advisory board, uh, called me and asked me about Protovite, and she said, okay, Bill, I have a test case for you. So if the if the Protovite helps Don, I'll use it in my practice. So she, she uh, read the instructions. It was one ounce a day, and doctors generally follow instructions. So she had Don take one ounce a day, which was divided into one half ounce two times per day. And then she was on a call that we had where she heard a mother report how her uh, daughter had cut off the end of her finger on a meat slicer and had put the her finger in protovite and it had stopped bleeding uh, in, in probably about a minute. And so the doctor uh, suggested that Donna increase her dose to two times per day and also put it on topically. Uh, three weeks later after that, this is her foot. The yeast problems are gone. Uh, there's a little bit of a scar there, which is now gone, and all the swelling, the edema is gone. Her foot looks really great. Donna went from not being able to walk to now walking regularly 30 minutes a day, and she's uh, vitally alive. Uh, this is about, as you can see, it's about two years ago. So uh, the bottom of her foot is completely healed as well. And what this demonstrates, while it shows how great Protovite is, it really demonstrates how amazing the body is and how incredible its capabilities are when given the resources to enable it to work its best. It's quite profound. We also um, have a young man, uh, he was 37 years old at this time, uh, Jason Hubler, who's a power lifter. And he says here, I have used a very extensive supplement regimen to support my intense weightlifting workouts over the past year of serious strength training. Uh, my previous personal best in squat weightlifting was 395 pounds. I had hoped to achieve a new personal record of 405 pounds. He wanted a 10-pound increase. To ensure my system was totally clean from any supplement influence, prior to taking Protovite, I did a six-week washout and stopped taking the 20 other supplements I had been using. I then took one ounce of Protovite shortly before starting an intense powerlifting workout session. I also added one ounce of Protovite to my regular workout beverage, which was an electrolyte beverage, and sipped on it between my sets of squats. I ended my workout session by achieving an astounding lift of 515 pounds. By the way, he only waited five minutes between his, his squat sessions, and you're supposed to wait 15. They told him the following day he would not be able to walk. He says, the following day I had no muscle pain. In the following weeks, I've had continued increases in squat training exercises, ranging from 545 to 575 pounds. 
He wanted a 10-pound increase. He got a 180-pound increase. And he reports, I have been and continue to be truly amazed. I have never experienced anything like Protovite. It is truly incredible. By the way, he has a doctor in business a doctor in business administration. He's a certified personal trainer. And he's certified in sports nutrition. So this is not an amateur's opinion. And he was working out in the gym of Michael Chalet, who's a three-time world powerlifting champion. So this is an amazing achievement. Along that line, Alicia Glazer, who's an ER room nurse, and a she's been a competitive triathlete since she was 25 years old, reports I'm achieving higher performance in my workouts than I have in 30 years. Yeah, 30 years. So she was training uh, for an Ironman competition, which is a 100-mile bike uh, bike ride, a 26-and-a-half-mile run, and a three-mile swim. And she started taking Protovite six weeks before this competition, and she reported that she achieved her lifetime personal best performance at 50 years old. That is just stunning. Uh, we have Gene Killingsworth, who's a 75-year-old competitive cyclist. He has never medaled or received any ribbon or certificate in 15 years of competition. He became a devoted user of Protovite during his training, which was three weeks prior to this competition. He got his first gold medal at the Senior Olympics. He then attended the Ohio State uh, competition, and he got a bunch of medals there and got a commendation. He actually got a gold medal, a bronze medal, a, and a, uh, a, a fourth place ribbon, and he got another ribbon. But he's and he, you know, he just achieved amazing results that received a, uh, a commendation from the state of Ohio. So, you, you know, we're, we're presenting product technologies that change lives. And we have valid science to support it. And, you know, I started a network marketing company because we wanted to reach the most amount of people in the shortest time with the greatest benefit with valid, uh, scientifically valid products and an opportunity. The, the casualty of the disappointments and other opportunities, uh, V&I will absolutely not waste or put in jeopardy are your time. That is an investment you can never get back. Your credibility, your reputation, your relationships, your health, and your finances. These are routine casualties of other disappointments that we will not jeopardize. Uh, B&I enjoys less than one one-hundredth of one percent of product returns. This is absolutely an astounding and unprecedented industry achievement. This extraordinarily low return rate is evidence of the respect that we have for you and your valuable assets. By the way, this translates to greater customer satisfaction, customer loyalty, and is a genuinely abundant harvest for your efforts and is a tremendous um, um, you know, assurance that your efforts will be rewarded. And so we're asking you to please join us in our mission of making a genuine contribution to create a better life, a better quality of life for as many people as possible by improving health, restoring hope, and building abundance with v and I. I want to thank everybody for taking the time to uh, watch and listen to this webinar. Uh, we look forward to speaking to you further. Please contact the person that made you aware of this webinar and see how you can get involved with v and I. Thank you very much.